When it's I, Wacky Anime What If here, here to present you with part three of What If Deku Was in Regular Show. I hope you all enjoy, and let's go ahead and get into this. Currently, Midoriya has just recovered from getting kicked in the nuts. He got it upwards to his feet, and he saw Mordecai and Rigby both grab on to the dick kicker and get teleported away. Immediately, Benson says, What is going on? While Midoriya said, well, I think they just got teleported back to my world. So long as I don't run into the League of Villains or anything like that, they should be fine. While Benson immediately says, you gotta get them back. Come on. Is there some type of magical way or something? Midoriya immediately says, just so you know, this isn't magic. It's called a quirk. It's an ability. I told you about this before. While Benson ends up saying, well, you did, but Skips, you got any ideas? Looks at Skips, and Skips just... Like, literally shrugs his shoulders and says, I don't know. Well, Benson just says, alright, we, we'll we think about it later. But for, for now, let's go ahead and go to sleep, everyone. He immediately walks out of the out of the house, and everyone just goes to their rooms to sleep. Midoriya goes into his room, and immediately walks to his bed, jumps on the bed, and goes to sleep. Then he starts to think, I wonder where they are exactly in my world. Meanwhile... Mordecai and Rigby, who had literally just grabbed the dick kicker right when he was teleporting, were both teleported instantly towards the League of Villains hideout. Immediately, Shigaraki, who's in front of the bar, is looking at the dick kicker and says, So are these the new recruits? While the dick kicker says, Uh, not exactly. They're beings of mass destruction, though, but uh, I wasn't necessarily going to let you recruit them. While Shigaraki says, I'll take it. And did the dick ticker, kicker says, you know that they're not really evil, right? While Mordecai and Rigby say, yeah, we're not evil, dude. Just go ahead and let us go. While Shigaraki just says, oh, I'm sorry, I can't let you go. If you're being of mass destruction, it's better if I use you to your fullest extent. He touches a glass right next to him on the bar, and it immediately disintegrates. While Mordecai and Rigby both literally look at that and they say, We're actually totally evil, believe it or not. While the dick kicker looks at them and says, No, you're not. You're nice guys. I saw you save baby ducks from a poacher. While Shigaraki says, Yeah, that does sound like a nice guy thing to do. Immediately, Midoriya, immediately Mordecai and Rigby just say, Well, we also killed uh, a giant floating head. Not to mention we got some guy killed that was just showing up to face against the hammer well showing up because he got fired we also killed the hammer and a lot of other things while well, Mordecai and Rigby are spitballing but then they realize on the inside that's actually kind of true they did cause a lot of mayhem a lot of deaths and immediately Shigaraki says yeah well how about this you show me your destructive power then immediately Mordecai and Rigby say uh, we, we've got to go change, though. They start to walk to the restroom, and Shigaraki says, Yeah, you're not going alone. Dick Kicker, follow them. Well, the Dick Kicker says, You know, I'm only with you guys because you guys let me get away with my crimes. And whenever I do a crime, you guys handle the loose ends. Well, not kill them, obviously. I didn't request them to be killed. I requested for them to be kicked in the dick 50 times until their testes fell off. And immediately... When Mordecai and Rigby hear that, they were, like, really disturbed. They ran out of the restroom, they closed the door, they locked it, and they immediately said, We gotta do it, dude. We gotta use the power of Death Kwon Do. They got on their Death Kwon Do outfits. The dick kicker was knocking out, knocking on the door, saying, Hey, get back over here. You're not gonna get away after Shigaraki wants to recruit you. And immediately Shigaraki is behind the dick kicker and says, Allow me to open the door. He places all five fingers onto the door, and he immediately sees Mordecai and Rigby in shorts with m mullets on. They have mullets now. And Shigaraki just says, What the f- Before getting punched in the gut by Rigby, and Rigby just says, Death Gwendo Punch! And punches him in the gut, and he flies five meters out of the League of Villain hideout and flies into a building. Immediately Shigaraki gets up and has blood dripping out of his mouth. Blood coming out of his mouth. He's coughing it up. And Dobby, Toga, and Twice, who are in the room currently, 
didn't really say anything before because it wasn't that big of an issue. It was just two guys getting recruited. But once I saw that, they explained the action. Togus tried to run towards Mordecai and stab him and slice him. He sliced, she sliced to the side. Mordecai just jumped upwards and said, Death, Kwando, kick! And kicked her dead in the face. And then she flew 15 meters back and flew right next to Shigaraki. And Shigaraki grabbed her by the back and made sure she didn't fly even further. But that was a mistake because he flew a few meters back as well. They're making their way back to the League of Villains while Dobby and Twice are facing off against Mordecai and Rigby. Twice makes tons of clones of Dobby. They all use fire all around Mordecai and Rigby. Mordecai and Rigby are stuck in a ring of fire. The entire League of Villain base is being burned down, and multiple reports are being called towards heroes. While Mordecai and Rigby immediately say, You know what we're going to have to do? And they look at each other and say, Hmm, 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 hmm. Before they say, Death Kwando, and Mordecai immediately bends his knees downwards, and he says, Death Kwando, dump, and he jumped all the way up into the air, and he immediately flew through the roof with Rigby, and right then, Dobby said, come on, twice, gotta make some more clones. Dobby made ten clones, literally twice made ten clones of Dobby. They all started throwing fire directly at Mordecai and Rigby, who were in the air, they immediately looked downwards, and Mordecai said, Hey, hey, I, I, th- I think he said something about your mom, bro. And immediately, Rigby said, Oh, yeah? He wants the pain. While Mordecai said, Yeah, I think he wants the pain. And he just throws Rigby directly through the fire. And immediately, Dobby, all the Dobby clones immediately said, Wow, that was cruel doing that to his friend. Not knowing that Rigby just barely avoided the fire, and it looked like he felt flew through it. He flew all the way through and punched all of the clones simultaneously with one punch. A Death Kwando punch so powerful that it hit ten separate clones ten different times. And he looked at Dobby and started running towards him and said, Death Kwando kick! While Dobby just blocked it with his left leg. And immediately his left leg was broken. And Rigby used the other kick and was about to kick him in the right leg, but Dobby moved to the side too quickly, so he actually got kicked in the nuts. And immediately, Dobby heard cracking, and he started screaming and said, My Dobbies! He screamed it out so loudly that even Tomura Shigaraki and (laughs) Kirigiri could hear it. Kirigiri was literally in the basement level of their base. He was getting upwards, and he saw the sight of where he got kicked in the balls. And he immediately said, I'm so glad I was not up here. But now I've got to do my job. He starts putting portals around Rigby and teleporting all the League of Villains around him. Dobby has his flames out. Twice has his his clones out of everyone. And Tomer Shigaraki is reaching his hand out to grab Rigby. While Mordecai is still up in the air, he looks downwards and he flings himself all the way downwards towards them and tries to punch directly at Shigaraki's behind his head. Before Shigaraki puts his hand outwards... Kirigiri has a portal, he puts his hand through the portal, and right behind Mordecai is Shigaraki's hand, and once Mordecai looks behind him, and he sees that hand, he's like, oh no, bro, and immediately a gunshot fires off, and Shigaraki's right hand that he used for that portal immediately had a hole in it, and he pulled his hand out of the portal, Shigaraki said, we gotta evacuate, we gotta go to a different base. While Shigaraki said, we gotta kill those two, though. He started rushing towards Rigby, who was very close in his vicinity. He was about to grab him. He grabbed him by the arm and started to king's arm slightly before Rigby punched him in the balls with a death Kwando punch. And immediately, Shigaraki passed out while saying, my Shigarakis, and fell down to the ground. While immediately the dick kicker, who was still in there, he wasn't even really in the building anymore. He was like on top of a separate building next to it. He was saying, those are excellent work. I think Rigby could probably be my next protege. While he just teleports back into the regular show. And immediately, Mordecai and Rigby say, whoa. And they start just like pointing towards each other while saying that. And they literally look at Shigaraki, who's on the 
on the ground. And they start just big booting him. They start stepping on him and kicking him with death Wando kicks. Until all of his ribs are basically cracked. And most of his bones are almost dust. Until Kirigiri does a portal under Kir- under Shigaraki. And just teleports him right into all for one second base. And teleports all the rest of the League of Villains away. Right when that happens. Literally Rigby and Mordecai look at each other again. They say, oh. <laughs> While... All of a sudden, they hear third, oh, and they see All Might right beside them, having his hand up and saying, oh, and Mordecai and Rigby say, who are you? And he says, my name's All Might. While All Might's looking at them, they're looking at each other, and all three of them get in a circle, and they start walking in a circle, and saying, oh, while all of a sudden, Aizawa <laughs> appears, and so does a uh, Sniper, the Sniper. He immediately appears, and they, well, Death Gun appears, they immediately run towards where Mordecai and Rigby are, and All Might, and they see them saying, oh, all around, and they're like, hey, what are they doing, is what Aizen, is what, uh, Aizawa says, and Aizawa immediately thinks, hmm, it actually seems kind of fun, before Death Gun just says, yeah, Actually, I'm going to go join them. He just walks in the circle and says, Oh! And then Aizawa says, That's so stupid. Right, Nezu? Right, Nezu? While looking at looking beside him and does not see Nezu, who is right beside him on the left side. He looks towards towards all of them, and they, he sees Nezu in the middle of them saying, Oh! And then Aizawa's like, You know what? If I can't beat him, just join him. He walks in and they all start saying, Oh! Before All Might puts cuffs over Mordecai and Rigby, and he says, okay, okay, enough celebration. You guys have to go into interrogation. You're potential villains. After all, you were in the League of Villain base. We got to learn, like, why you were there. And then Mordecai and Rigby said, aw, I thought we had a moment, though. Well, All Might said, yeah, you thought wrong. And he just takes both of them all the way into interrogation in UA. They find out that they were apparently summoned by, they were literally taken by the dick kicker. From their universe, which they don't really believe at first until they say, you know, Death Kwon Do, all you have to do is have a mullet and follow what I'm doing. Immediately, Mordecai and Rigby taught Death Kwon Do to Nezu. And Nezu's Death Kwon Do, using Death Kwon Do, he has a, mo- a mullet and he has shorts on. And immediately, All Might thinks it's not going to work when they go to the training ground and test it out. Ne- Nezu immediately runs towards towards the punch meter in the training ground. He punches it and it explodes. And immediately Nezu says, Wow, you guys were telling the truth. While Mordecai and Rigby say, Hmm, 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 while looking at each other. And Oma says, Yeah, I guess you guys are telling the truth. So what are you guys' plan? And they both say, We haven't thought about that. Honestly, we just got transported here. And uh, while Midoriya is still in our world, when he said that, All Might said, Wait, that's where young Midoriya went? And immediately, Mordecai and Rigby just nodded and said, Yeah, he he went to our world while chasing the dick kicker guy. While All Might says, You know, I still don't believe that there's some guy that names himself the dick kicker. What kind of name is that? Before he feels the pain in his balls, because the dick kicker just teleported into UA right in front of All Might. He just kicked him in the nuts and just teleported away. All Might holds on to his crotch and says, I actually didn't feel shit. Ha ha. While the dick kicker who teleported back in regular show says, Ah, my foot! And he's like on the ground like, Ah, ah. He's like that. He's kind of like just like that. Right in the park. In the middle of the park. While Skips is looking at him and says, Is that the guy? And Midoriya is like, Yeah, it's the guy. They start rushing towards him. And they they just about to grab him before he's like, Oh, there's some guys trying to grab me. So he just teleports away. And immediately Midoriya looks at Skips and says, Hey, Skips, uh, looks like we failed. Before he notices, oh, Skips is gone. Immediately, Skips is teleported into My Hero World. <laughs> right in front of All Might. And immediately, the dick kicker runs towards All Might again and tries it one more time just to see if it works. He kicks him one more time and then he realizes his entire foot's broken. He teleports back away. Before All Might could grab him. 
because he was about to grab him by the arm, but, uh, well, he missed slightly, is what he thought, until a little finger touched him one time, and then when he teleported, he teleported All Might all the way into regular show, and All Might was like, what's happening here? Why is there a park here? Young Midoriya, is that you? When he looks at young, young Midoriya, he's like, Oh, thank God it's you. He just picks him up and starts to hug him and says, I haven't seen you in weeks. I was worried a villain attack appeared. While well, Midoriya also hugs him back. Then Midoriya says, Oh yeah, uh, shouldn't we worry about that guy who's kicking people in the dicks and teleporting us here? He's right over there and he's running away. He's like sneaking away too. And you just see the dick kicker tiptoeing tip away. And he looks back and sees that they both saw him. And then he says, <laughs> It starts running away. While all for all mites and Deku start chasing after him, but then he just teleports away right when they reach the house, and Pops is literally outside on outside the house on the steps and says "jolly good show" while clapping his hands until he sees the dick kicker and he's like, "not a good show." Before the dick kicker disappears, he sees Buff All Might and he sees Midoriya. And Pops ended up saying, Hey, Midoriya, who's your friend right there? And Midoriya says, Oh, he's a pro hero known as All Might. He's from my world. While well, Benson, who just got out, out of the house, ends up looking and sees this. He sees All Might's attire and says, uh, I'm guessing he's from your world. While Izuku just looks at him and says, Yeah, he's from my world. He's All Might. He's also the number one hero, and we need to get him back very quickly. Because if All for One or Shigaraki knows that he's gone now, then that could really screw my world over. While that's happening, on the other side, Mordecai, Benson, Mordecai, Rigby, and Nezu, and Aizawa are all freaking out because All Might just got teleported somewhere. They're all literally freaking out because now if All for One attacks, they don't really have that big of a defense now. All Might was like the biggest defense, and so was Midoriya. But now they're gone. So, Aizawa just says, Hey, you two, do you know how to get there? And they say, The only way to get there is if you touch the dick kicker while he's trying to teleport. And Aizawa says, Alright, I'll try to touch the dick kicker when he tries to teleport. We'll just have to try to find him. And Ezu immediately says, Well, I put a tracker on him. Right when you guys were, you know, well, when he tried to kick All Might in the dick. The first time, I threw a tracker and it landed on him. So, I can see where he is. He immediately looks at a little watch that's on Nezu's wrist. And he, it tracks him all the way across the city in a cheap apartment, apparently. And Nezu says, let's go ahead and go. And that's where I'm going to end What If Deku Was in Regular Show Part 3. I hope you all enjoy.